All right, F.A., you're not going to let me down, surely. That's what's pretty wild, honestly, is that, like, I haven't even had bad hero choices or anything tonight. Just bad luck. It's a great start. Start on Unicorn, then next turn we can buy Mim and then Genie's Wish. What do you think of the Pop Hero? Uh, I haven't played it. <laughs> In theory, it's okay, I suppose. Gives you some early game tempo, but I don't know. I I'm too, like, I am I was already, like, kind of high MMR when the patch came out, and I didn't really, like, I didn't want to start trying to practice a hero when I was climbing as fast as I was. It was a little too risky. <laughs> Just take this and then whatever. I, I typically like to get the evil side of things going before the good side, and like neither one of these units are really super exciting. So, yeah, generally speaking, I think the Puff Puff Hero is, is okay. It's probably like C tier, maybe like lower, slightly lower. Mm -mm. But we got a good start, so hopefully we can, hopefully we can get a typical uh, Fallen Angel game. Uh, this sucks. No evil units. Can't even get good going. I don't even want to lock for this because I don't want to be sp I don't want to be spending gold on units that don't like give me my bonus. So we'll just do this and let the shrink ray roll. But like double unicorn mim is a really good start. Okay. Still not fantastic. I have to take it though. Just debating on whether or not, like, obviously I'm buying this unit, but I could take, I could take the baby root, and I could support the six one, or I can just take the seven nine for a turn. I, I think we just take this for a turn. It activates our hero power, and like we're already strong, so the likelihood of losing the egg is pretty low, unless they just have like. I don't know, something absurd like double cat mim or something. Even then, I'm not sure that that gets there. This could technically pop an egg, but I don't think it will. We just dunked on this guy. Here's our black cat. So this activates our hero power. We can cut this now. XP? Yeah. Not really like optimal sequencing, but I you know, we don't know that we're gonna get a gingerbread party out of out of that. Like it's safer to just take the units first in case you hit like a free roll or something. You don't want to lose out on the value. Because I mean like I'm ridiculously strong now. So. Can I reposition this to make my range go first? What does this end up looking like? Like this, maybe? 
Maybe we just don't give a shit about the egg. I'm down for that, honestly. Seems fine. Oh, that's unfortunate. A pretty good kiss target, but we still win the fight, I think. Three, two. Peep is Peep is actually pretty good in this spot. I mean Peep is always good on this hero, but especially in this position. This is good. I can I can sell and I can buy both uh the peep and the pair, so this is nice. Can't take corrupted heartwood, unfortunately, because it griefs my hero power for a turn. I think we just preemptively take noble steed. Dragon's Nest doesn't really do much. It's a little too speculative. Uh, like this is this is great. Like this is exactly what you want to see on this hero. I would have liked to have found some XP somewhere in there, but I can't complain with this start by any means. God, I can't believe we got back to back sevens. I literally haven't gotten below like fourth in so long and then to have two bad games back to back just like takes the wind out of your sails so hard. But we just keep on grinding. Fun fact, I've actually never been rank one in this game. The highest I got was rank three. I've been rank one in been rank one in Magic Arena, and I've been rank one in Hearthstone. One time each. That's about it. I think that's it. I don't think there's any other. I don't think there's any other games. Okay, so Sporko, fantastic upgrade. I can probably play. I can probably play Friendly Spirit over. The stuff. Monster book is great if I want to scale my my spell weavers, but I can't afford it this turn, and I'm not positive that it's worth locking for. We just have better stuff that exists out there. I could cast the spell this turn though. I could do that. What's up, MTG? I'm doing okay. We had a couple shitty games tonight, but uh, doing all right. The patch is good. I I'm enjoying the patch quite a bit. A really good win rate on it so far. I guess we take it. It's stats. Just depends on which one of these I want to put it on. I could go here and get double value. I could go here. I think this is the correct target. Gives us a higher likelihood to do something. This is the puffy hero again? I one of the things that I I do like about the puff puff hero is that it kind of motivates people to play units that you wouldn't normally see played, like copycat. Copycat is a unit that used to be be very good and is literally like fallen out of uh. Falling out of play recently. Kind of seconds and eights, no in between. Yeah, I, 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 I can understand that spot. I've just been, I've just been winning like a lot. I've been getting a lot of like first, second, thirds. Almost no fourths, and then like basically no bad games. Like I don't know if I've just been really fortunate in my RNG the past couple days, but. Uh, ooh. XP. I could, if I was feeling frisky, I could take the River Wish and put it in slot 5 and then put the Friendly Spirit here and put a ranged unit in slot 1.
Can't really do that though. Kind of kind of warps things. We know we're taking that for sure. I'd like to find like a lady of the lake or something. There's that. I guess we're locking for that and just buying an egg. Should I play this egg for a turn? Another uh that's a board, huh? Yikes. This if this horde dragon lives long enough to find a uh Uh, scion of the storm, like that's big spooky. Seems pretty unlikely that they will, though. We're on five. If I find Sting, or if I find Lancelot and I have the Sting, I can Saproc, yeah, right? No, maybe not. It's uh. No, it is Instaproc. 10 plus 4 plus 1, yeah. Plus hero power, it's definitely enough. So I think we take Sting in preparation of Lancelot, because then we can get level 6 treasure. Merlin's hat is a little late for wanting to accomplish anything. Uh, Big Pigs is just an upgrade. I could consider maybe putting Polly in here. It's probably time to cut this unicorn. It's kind of overstayed its welcome to begin with. How do we feel about Polly in one for a turn? I don't actually mind it that much. I can even reposition if I want to and play this first. An 18-4. Pretty likely that it slays. This is free, so I should just take this. This is in a weird spot, but I don't have enough time to switch it. If I could reposition, I probably would. Uh, me first. Me first. All right, we got a free six here, so that's nice. Uh, that lands on a range. Not landing on a range is a little sus. Should be fine, though. Yeah, we're good. Guaranteed. Well, not guaranteed, but out there. Scion of the Storm. C Okay. Working rod. Swords is really good with my spawns right now. I think it's just swords. Like, Forking Rod is okay with, like, the buffing these and the intermediate. And I get, actually, then again, I, I do have a Scion if I want to lean into that. Yeah, I guess this is fine. What's better to buff? Probably this, I think, at this point. Now we're going to reposition for sure. What do we want this to look like? I'm thinking this goes in slot one, this goes two, this goes three. Like this, maybe. It's kind of scuff, though. Like, not playing the range units first feels kind of like a throw. If we're trying to get maximum value, I think it might be. Correct. You guys got mirror mirror. It's not good. Not looking good for me. Oh, that's my best unit. The ranged unit's a problem. Go left. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's good. That attacks. This goes here, and then I lose barely. Okay, that's fine.
Uh, another poly. Do we want another poly? Probably not. I want, like, I want more sixes, but... Like, truth be told, my board's kind of shit right now. I don't think I can pass double shrivel. Double shrivel is just really strong. Okay, it's definitely time for Goodwitch to go. We can replace it with Robin. That's totally fine. It's a really good replacement. There's my Lancelot. One, two, three. What am I selling? I could... If I, I I'm at 36, so I definitely should sell. I think I'm selling one, two, three, four, five. I mean, it's a it's an instant six. Like, I can't pass an instant six. Another copycat. There's two copycat players in this game. What's going on? All right, whatever. Not a bad loss. I'm at 30. I should just take box, and get the seven here. If we find Hercules, we can get two sevens, but I don't know if that's just being too greedy. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to be greedy because I've been playing too conservative these last couple games and it's gotten me absolutely nowhere. I'm just going to pop the masquerade ball here and get a shot full of sixes. Here's my Hercules. There's also a boom held up if I want it. So even if I take, even if I sell two and buy the boom here, it doesn't. It doesn't proc the Hercules in two hits. I'm definitely locking this, but... All right, we're in a good spot as long as we just don't take a million. This guy's not super strong, so it should be fine. Guaranteed at least two hits here. If this goes right, okay. Three hits. The ranged units, though. Oh my goodness. The ranged units, though. Yeah. Okay, pretty likely that it ends up proccing next turn. We killed this guy off. This whole lobby is, like, dying except for me. Wand. Wand is kind of ass compared to what I could have gotten. That sucks. God, five people, four people died that round. Pretty funny. I don't think we're locking or taking anything else here. Uh hmm. Considerations for just crocking the Scion here. If I do that, I think I need to play it like this. It's a, it's a 37-17, and then like, 
that turns into a, you know an equally large unit. So, wow, did that really just happen? I just got gypped out of my treasure this turn. Wow, that's very annoying. You're a fucker. That's annoying. This is the Mirror Mirror player. I can't underestimate the Mirror Mirror. Right, I, I need I need a real like real units to actually beat the tree guy. I can play Echo Wood over this. It's free. Might as well take it. Can't believe we got griefed out of that. No thought going for treasure map with the Ember Princess in that opening shot. At this stage of the game, no. Like we already got the value from the from the Lancelot with the Noble Steed. The Hercules was just kind of a cherry on top. I didn't actually expect to hit it. <clears throat> but uh it's too I think it's just too speculative. Like I was strong enough I, and I had the life total to to try to go for it. It would have taken two turns to try, I guess. But I don't think I, I just didn't think I needed it really. Wow, this guy's gonna kill me. Who the fuck beat this guy? I'm pretty sure I I'm pretty sure I don't beat this guy. He's actually fucking big. Christ. This guy's massive. Wondering if like I mean like obviously like Zippy had to have beaten this guy. It had to have been Zippy. There's no one else that, that could have. My god, am I just gonna take like a million here? Twelve. Okay, we got World Tree. What can that do? We can Zippy. This is the scam player with with the copycats. We could go for magic sword, scam. Excalibur was probably a little too late. It's gotta be World Tree, and we just have to YOLO this turn. Let's try to find relevant units. Uh I could take pumpkin. There's also a hero swap. I may just hero swap here. Okay, let's see what we get. Organ. Morgan for a six. Better than Forking Rod. Phoenix Feather. No, we go ninth book for sure. All my stuff is all my stuff are mages. The ninth book is absurd. Uh how do we want to play this? Cut Lancelot and play the rest of it like this. Put this in one. Okay, so we actually we actually might be able to win this game. I don't know how strong this guy is, but we have a lot of scam potential here. How strong is he? There's no way we lose this, right? Like I have so much I have so many spells that are gonna get cast here. There's just no way. There's so much scam. Yeah. Just fire off pumpkins. Like everything that dies is a is a mage. Even the pigs that get spawned. If we lose this, I'm going to be so bummed. Just feels super unlikely that we do. Two tree, or one tree. Here goes my tree. Okay. Come on, pig morph. Pig morph. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right, 
Good boy. Good boy is good. I like good boys. Uh I should cut this echo wood. I don't think echo wood's gonna really do much right now. Okay, so Bearstein? Bearstein combos with almost my whole board. It combos with what comes out of the the Storm King coming out of the croc. It com it combos with big pigs and it combos with uh with pumpkin. Echo's so good though, I don't know. I think it's I I do think this is better. Let's go for it. See what happens. Good song. Even if we lose the fight, we're not guaranteed dead, so. Okay, that was a really good hit. Killing off the killing off the uh the copycat was really strong for me. Things are very yeah, we're guaranteed to win this. Sick. World Tree Ninth book, good god. Yeah. Alright, that was a better game. Like it didn't even it didn't we didn't even recoup our losses from the, any of the losses or any of the seventh so hey everyone thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more i put out a new video and live stream on twitch every single weekday you can also follow me on twitter at john the words guy see you later